Here is the easiest and cheapest way to light up your arcade one-up coin doors. If I'd known it was this easy, I would have did this a long time ago. And because I have so many of these to do, I'm going this route just to save some money because this really adds up. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Thumper Squid for recommending this to me and to B from Cons R Us from showing a great tutorial on how to do this so easy you won't even need a tape measure. And here's everything we're gonna need. Painter's tape, electrical tape, our LED lights, a Phillips head screwdriver, 3A drill, a very small Phillips head, a Sharpie, and a drill. First, remove the back panel and unscrew all six screws that are holding your coin door in. And right when I got to my last screw, I decided to put the painter's tape just in case this falls forward. You don't want to damage anything. I mean, it shouldn't break, but just to be safe, you might want to just take the painter's tape and just, just protect this just for a second. And the reason we have this smaller screwdriver is to remove these four screws. And once you remove the screws, these will pop right out. And it'll be simple to mark the holes. You don't need a tape measure. Learn this trick from B from Cons R Us. Set it back in the front for a second. Take your Sharpie and mark a hole right in the middle of each square. You can see the two dots we made with the marker. Another trick that B was showing on his tutorial was to take the painter's tape and stick it right underneath the holes. So when you drill through, this will catch some of that particle. And just take your drill and go right in the middle of that dot. See, it catches most of it. And then put your buttons back in, tighten them down with the screw, and it's back to looking the way it was when you took it off. Now what I'm gonna do is take these LED lights and line up one of these lights in each of the two holes we just drilled. So once you have it lined up, I put a black piece of electric tape in the middle to hold them, and then a black piece over both holes. They had a sample run here. I wanted to plug this in to make sure it was working okay. Check out the other side. And look at this, it looks perfect. They lined up great. We'll put the coin door back and we'll see how it looks. That looks pretty good. I do have the painter's tape here. So when we put the six screws back in, it doesn't want to come forward. We'll brace it in. I'll put another piece on, on the other side and maybe the top and the bottom. And I just want to note, I did not plug this into the PCB yet. Just wanted to be safe, make sure the lights worked okay. I'm gonna leave this on unplug this, put the screws in, and then we'll plug it into the PCB. Okay, we'll just plug in the USB right into the PCB. And remember, I left this on. So when we do fire this up, it should just turn right on with the switch. And I'm just gonna take some more of that electrical tape and tape the rest of this strip off to the side, including the reel. I don't want to unreel the whole thing because it's, it's probably like six feet long. So I'll just kind of brace it in because this is going to get shifted. It's actually going to get moved to another room. Also keep in mind that every time we do this, you're going to have your own remote control. Now I'm not sure if they're like garage door openers that they only work with these, but I'm going to keep this inside of this cabinet so I don't misplace it or get it mixed up with another one. Now the only downside about this is it's a little messy. You're going to have some more wires. The Retro 530 is very smooth, very clean. I texted my buddy, the bad guy, Mike Worley, to see if I could cut this instead of doing the uh, X-Men down here. He wasn't sure. I wasn't sure either. I'm going to live with this. Let me know in the comments if it's safe to cut some of this. But, but yeah, I've just tucked it off to the side. It looks good. I'm going to take this and just drop it on the bottom, secure with a piece of tape so I don't lose this remote. So there we have it. There's the inside. We have it plugged into the USB. We have everything taped in. And like I said, if you're going to do several cabs like myself, this is the best way. It's the most cost effective. It's just going to look a little messy, but it works just fine. All right, we'll flip it on. See the marquees on, scoreboard, and look at those coin doors. What a cheap, affordable way to do this and easy. I mean, anybody, guys, if I could do this, anybody can change this out. It doesn't cost a lot. I don't think I'll ever complain about non-lit coin doors again, as easy as this was.
but not having any coin doors? Well, that's a whole nother topic. And I want to thank Thumper Squid for the suggestion and B from Cons R Us on showing how easy it really is where you don't even need a tape measure. Really worked out. You can see how good those LED lights are. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I want to look at the shot in the dark. This is the way these coin doors were supposed to look. You can see turtles over here too. I mean, what a difference having light up coin doors makes. G.I. Joel's riser, they look good.